Hello, my name is Chris Chislett and in this wine review I'm going to be talking about the Mulderbosch. This is a Cabernet Rosé from South Africa, a very trendy, cool label we've got there, very minimal. Uh, it's Cabernet Rosé from South Africa, the coastal region of South Africa, but uh, I think the main thing that people notice about this wine is obviously it's Cabernet and it's Rosé, why is it, you know, why is it that colour? Um, it's going to rain. Um, yeah, why is it that colour? Everybody thinks that colour, they think white is in for Nelmi. They think sweet. Well, what these guys actually do is they take the Cabernet grape, which is a thick-skinned, um, you know, red grape, black grape, whatever. Uh, they crush it, and then clear juice comes out of it. Well, if you leave that skin in contact with the juice for two, three days, it's going to give it this pink, almost kind of neon, uh, neon pink kind of colour to it. If you leave the skin in contact with the juice for ten days, two weeks, it's going to give it that traditional Cabernet kind of colour that we all we all know that thick, that tannic, um, you know, heavy, fuller-bodied style. So. That's where wine really get their colour from. Now, the coastal region of South Africa is the original home of the vine in South Africa. It's located right around Cape Town, as uh, kind of on the coast, you know, the coastal region, obviously on the coast. And this is definitely a drier style. The drier styles of rosé really have been uh, been taken off the past couple of years. Yeah, people are really going towards the uh, the dry style as opposed to the, uh, the the sweet, the sweet kind of white zin um, type thing. And I think people are you know afraid of ordering these kind of wines in you know in restaurants and buying the retail because they think it's going to be that that kind of sweetness. Uh, the flavours with this, I you know really no big surprises. A lot of cherry, a lot of raspberry. I've let this one uh, just warm up a little bit. A little bit of pepper on the finish there uh, almost reveals a little bit of peach. As well, definitely, uh, definitely a good summer wine. Maybe put it with salads, maybe spicy Asian foods, uh, even seafood, something like that. So it's fairly medium-bodied as well for a rosé, but there's a there's a hint of sweetness there. But really, I definitely class this as like a drier style of rosé. Picked this one up for eleven dollars, I believe it was. These guys make uh, seven different wines, all under this kind of Mulderbosch, you know, this same, same kind of uh, kind of label. Mainly white wines, but I'd definitely give this one a try.